In this video, you will learn about blood agar and the preparation of blood agar media. Hello everyone, welcome back to HDT Bio Academy YouTube channel. Today, you will learn about blood agar and the preparation of blood agar media. In this video, we will use mammalian sterile blood, not contaminated blood, always use sterile blood. Before that, what is blood agar? Many bacteria species produce toxic byproducts that are capable of destroying red blood cells. Blood agar used as enriched media which allow to grow fastidious organism and it differentiates the bacteria on the basis of their hemolytic properties. Bacteria shows three types of hemolysis in blood agar plates that is alpha hemolysis, beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis. In alpha hemolysis, partial lysis of RBC to produce a green greenish, grey or brownish discoloration around the colonies. In beta hemolysis, it is complete lysis of RBCs, resulting a distinct clear colorless zone around and surrounding and under the colony. In gamma hemolysis, no hemolysis of RBC, no change in the medium and the surrounding the colonies. This allows to grow pathogens. If you are using human blood, then it will grow human pathogens like streptococcus, tuberculosis and salmonella. So let's prepare the media. For the preparation of blood agar, we need nutrient agar. So now we will make 100 ml of nutrient agar. Here it mentioned 28 gram in 1000 ml. For 100 ml, we need 2.8 gram. Then we will measure 2.8 gram of nutrient agar. We will measure 100 ml of distilled water. Add 2.8 gram of nutrient agar. Then add 100 ml of distilled water. Mix it. If the plums are coming, you can heat it for 3 to 5 minutes. After that, we will plug it for autoclave. Plug it tightly. Now it is ready for autoclave. We will put it autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After autoclave, let it cool down to 40 to 50 degrees. At that time, we will add blood. Now its temperature is around 45 to 50 degrees. Here we have prepared 100 ml of nutrient agar. So we take 5% of blood. So now we will add 5 ml of blood to this 100 ml of nutrient agar. This is a sterile mammalian blood. After the addition of blood, we will mix it. Now we will pour it, our blood agar, to this sterile petri plates. Make it bubble free. Now we will wait till it is solidified. Now our blood agar plates are completely solidified and ready for the growth of the microorganism. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe our HDT by Academy YouTube channel for more informative videos. Thank you.